Hi guys, how are you? I hope uh, I hope uh, everybody is fine. So uh, nothing new in this video. It's just uh, about in uh, about a previous video which I have done. Uh, I think on July. Yes, on uh, uh, July 27. And this video was about uh, BIOS image extraction. Uh, using uh, HX the extraction was manually and directly from dot uh, exe file. Uh, so BIOS image as you can see here from the title BIOS image extracted manually and directly from dot exe file with HXD. This video was uh, recorded in a Charlie Chaplin style, which means. Uh, no voice it was with no voice I have just used the uh, handwriting to explain things and some friends and uh, a member of RS of uh, RS uh, discord has asked to do it using the voice as you can see here thanks hopefully soon there is on audio for this one okay uh, so let's do it this time uh, with mm, with the voice so in this video I have dealt with uh, on Acer BIOS image.exe file I think it's on Aspire let's see yes here we have uh, yes so I have mm, I have extracted the views image from the Aspire A one five seven two G. Let's do it again. Let's do it from the beginning. Let's download the file. So Aspire A one five seven two. Yes, Aspire. A one dash five seven two G BIOS enter. So the first result is the official BIOS image. Let's go in. So BIOS firmware and uh, uh, I think I have used the first file. I have uh, downloaded the first file. Let's see. In fact, in fact, in fact, if you see here, we have the title of this video is Extracting Inside UFE Update File for SP Flashing. This, in fact, is not uh, my video, it's a friend video, uh, and at that time. Uh, as I have used a uh, different method to extract the file, I thought it's useful to show the my way of doing it uh, because it's uh, quicker and uh, easy for everyone. Uh, anyone can do uh, the extraction, the, man, the manual extraction easily. And this video, it was from Ain Wild uh, Hair. Hair, here is the video. Here the video uh, extracting inside uh, inside UFE update file for SP flashing. Uh, in this video, he used a different method. Quick video on how to extract inside BIOS files from update images. We're just gonna download an update image. As you can from see. So and they have used the same uh, file which he has uh, used in his video to show 
the difference between his method and, and mine. In fact, his method also is interesting, and uh, I advise uh, you to check it in his, in his video. So let's see which file I have downloaded uh, in that video. Uh, here, here, here. Now uh, we are in my video. Let's just see which file I have downloaded in this video. As you can see the video, there's no voice in this, in this video. This one, I mean this one, not the actual one in which I am uh, speaking. So I have downloaded the first, the first file. So go to the Acer support site, let's download the first one, let's put it in desktop, let's create another folder, let's call it temporary, simply because I am going to delete it right after finishing from recording my video, this video. Let's open, let's save it in that folder let's open our folder here it is let's extract the file the raw file let's open the folder and as you can see here we have the dot uh, file which can be used uh, to update our uh, BIOS, our machine BIOS, if it was, if it's still, it's still working and uh, has a Windows on installed on it, we can uh, just uh, click on it and uh, and update our BIOS. If not, if the machine is dead or has an issue with the BIOS, we then need to extract the BIOS image from this file. So let's see how I extracted it in that. Uh, previous video. Uh, let's just drag it and drop it on our HXD editor and to locate the views image we can use this uh, keyword. Mm, usually I use flash. Let's select here all and let's hit OK. So the first result here if we notice uh, here it doesn't look like a header of a BIOS file so let's search again so to search again we just uh, we just use f3 key on our on our keyboard so f3 to search again still here doesn't look like a BIOS header uh, you have to be familiar with the, the structure of uh, BIOS uh, files to uh, be able to recognize the, the header or the footer of a BIOS file. So let's hit F3 again, which means search again. Here we are. Here we are in the uh, header of our BIOS image. And there we have this keyword which also can be used BIOS IMG which simply means BIOS image so the BIOS image starts from here it can be recognized the start of the BIOS image can be recognized by these F's which means new data whenever you, you see this this ff it means new data and uh, zero zero means data not as some uh, technicians think that it's no data there in zero zero uh, no there's data and uh, the f's means no data so to distinguish between the two so the ff means new data and we use the f's when we want for example to erase uh, 
uh, uh, special block for example if you want to erase for example the the block in which the code the bios code is uh, stored or uh, for example uh, anything uh, if you want to delete anything from the uh, bios file you use the f's not the zeros so we came here to the beginning as we have said with uh, the beginning of our bios image which which can be recognized by, by this f's and this this a flash till here it's the indicator of the bios image and we don't need we don't need to uh, select that block in our views image uh, or otherwise it won't work we have to select from here from here so with the right click here we select block using the the hex length as you all know the hex length of an 8 megabyte because we are trying to extract a bios image file of uh, of 8 megabyte size so 8 megabyte size in a hex length it's 800,000 8 with 5 zeros followed by five, 8 followed by 5 zeros so we hit ok here we have selected our bios image so let's copy it copy our selection let's open a new file in our editor and with the right click here or simply using control V we insert the or we paste the bios image block and we save it as let's save it in the same folder temporary we save it as uh, as pair a1-572 the uh, bios image dot bin don't forget dot bin otherwise it won't be recognized by your uh, programmer or your editor so we save it let's go to the folder here we have our file here it is and it has the length of 8192 which is a standard length of an 8 megabyte file it should be this size 8192 if it's 8190 or 91 or 9493 it won't work it should be 8192 uh, let's extract the same image from the .exe file using lbe plus plus which will do it automatically and then we are going to compare the two files to, sh to see if they are identical or not so here we select bus extractor we go to main extractor we select assar we open the dot exe file here open we choose uh, process file directly let's start i hope yes done done and uh, and uh, as you can see here it was opened automatically in the folder in which the utility has saved the extracted file which is uh, simply the uh, folder of LBE plus plus so let's cut it from there and put it in our temporary folder on which we are 
in which we are working right now so let's paste it here and let's uh, go to the, our hex editor let's close everything and let's open these two extracted images this one was extracted manually and this one was extracted by uh, by uh, the tulip plus plus as you see here the name it was named automatically a flash bios img so you can use the this or these keywords to locate the header or the beginning of your bios image from dot exe file then select your block using the, the appropriate hex length and then copy that block and create another uh, new uh, file, bin binary file, in which you save uh, that block using Control V or with the right click of your mouse and paste the block there, and you save it uh, with uh, any name you, that you wish to use and then you can uh, use it with any programmer to program your views so let's hit enter to open these two files with the hxd editor enter and let's do an analysis on an, an analysis of these two files uh, uh, let's just go to analysis data comparison and hit and click on compare click on ok as you can see here the chosen files are identical so we can use our file directly to program our news chip I hope it's clear and uh, if any question uh, as always you can ask either on uh, IRS server or uh, directly in the on the comments of uh, the video note that not all dot exe file uh, can uh, note that uh, uh, note that not all dot exe bios files can be uh, dealt with in the same way meaning we can't extract manually a bios image file from any dot exe file sometimes those dot exe files are encrypted which means we need to decrypt them before uh, uh, trying to extract our views image if you want if uh, we want to do it manually but uh, the decryption of uh, those uh, dot exe files is not an easy task for everybody so you just use uh, utilities which you can find on the net uh, either on uh, github or uh, in other forums like bad caps like so many others like uh, electroda like uh, vinafix like uh, so many so many forums in fact uh, are uh, uh, useful uh, when we search for those BIOS utilities yes some are hard to find but that's it dealing with BIOS files is not uh, uh, always an easy task and uh, you have to be familiar with the BIOS files uh, to recognize uh, if dot exe file is uh, decrypted is encrypted or not for example let's open our file here so if we go to let's uh, let's use uh, for this time let's use bios img to go so can't find why okay i know why i have to use the uppercase bios img so if we check this we have to use the, the uppercase because 
uh, it's it's written with uppercase in the in the file. If we uncheck this, uh, then it will uh, search for either upper or lower. So uh, pay attention to what you use as a keyword. Uh, so right, okay. So here we are. So as you can see here, uh, here uh, it looks like uh, any any normal uh, BIOS image. So no it no encryption here. But if you go to the first, to the beginning, sorry, to the beginning of the file, for example, here, for example, as you can notice from here. Uh, it's clear that here uh, it's not uh, it, uh, it's not um, it's not like a BIOS file so because here we are uh, outside the BIOS image and the same thing with the uh, the end of the file as you can see here it does look like a BIOS uh, file but if we go to the BIOS image uh, block we notice that here if we scroll down it looks like uh, any ordinary uh, BIOS image file another way to to uh, see if we can extract our BIOS image from this uh, .exe file is uh, uh, I'll show you what I do uh, sometimes if I am confused or uh, I am not sure let's uh, let's 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 copy this now let's let's search for a damp so here uh, let's go to bad caps why not so For example, uh, this one. Yes, why not? Uh, yes, in the same folder. Let's let's go to the folder. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's extract the file. Okay, here we have the file. This one. Yes, this one. So this is the dump which we have uh, downloaded right now. Let's open it uh, in the same editor. Let's copy this header. As you, as you can see, this dump header has the the line of the Fs. Usually, the Acer uh, BIOS images begins with this line so let's copy just two lines copy and let's search in this one using that hex value which we have copied there paste it here hit ok bingo so the result was in the same place in which we have previously extracted our BIOS image as you can see as I have seen as I have said before we should start uh, our block selection from this point from here using the right click select block and uh, select your hex length and save it so i hope uh, things are clear uh, i shall go now uh, and sorry if the request uh, 
if the answer to the request of the friends uh, is uh, done late but uh, I was very busy these days and I hope everything is clear and uh, see you again in another video I hope that will be soon so bye bye everybody and uh, take care of yourself